this is just some of the things that I feel like not only, mm -hmm. but it's things that don't really make a lot of sense. Um, my street, 19, so a Linda, you can see a Linda. So I was trying to write my daughter's name. Um, no, no, um, well, I'm trying to write my, my street name, and I still couldn't do it. Uh, this is some things that I kind of filled out. You know, you can go take your own movie kind of thing, uh, or yard at first. Or I, he, can, he fell and broke his, his, his coat, which he corrected his, his arm. You know, various things like that. But this is my favorite one on the bottom, which I'm glad I can write. Something <laughs> <laughs> I go to church. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay. until December 20th to get my job back. And so it's, it's August now, or July, and I had to, that time, to get my, my job back. And, well, I, I thought I would get my job back, but my wife and Lisa, the, the therapist, knows that um, I wasn't going to go back. I, I knew, you know, I'll get these things going, I'll write everything, I'll read, and I'll get my thinking back, you know, I'm going to get my job back. But we had to do a lot of things planned which my wife was very stressed about. Um, and I wasn't going to go back. Um, can you put in number three, Rick? Them after Sentences. me. Yep. You know how. You know how. The vat leaks. The vat leaks. Good. Down to earth. Down to earth. Limes are sour. Limes are soured. I got home from work. I got home from work. The spy fled to Greece. The spy fled to Eex. Okay. You should not tell her. You should not tell her. Pry the tin lid off. Pry the tin something off. Okay, good. Ugh. You're doing fine. Go ahead and do it if possible. Go ahead and do it if it's possible. Mm. It's okay. The Chinese fan had a rare emerald. The Chinese fan had a Wayne. Don't know. But okay, uh, good, good, yeah. good. Near the table in the dining room. Near the table in the dub, the dar, the diagram. Mm -hmm. Okay. The barn swallow captured a plump worm. Blah, 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 blah. It has a something. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're doing uh, you're doing so much better I than you did. It, but yeah, I, can't I know, I know. That's it. the that's the heart of the matter, isn't it? The fog okay. and heat. They heard the st uh, something hard. Mm, hardly. Uh, I can't seem to repeat it. I heard everything you said, but I can't repeat it. Yeah, I know. That's that's because yeah. of. The kind of stroke that you had, you know, that's exactly the kind of thing that I would expect that you would still have difficulty with, mm -hmm. even after all this therapy. Yeah, I still get it. Yeah, today still have difficulty with that. Mm -hmm. But what do you do when you have trouble with that? You ask them to repeat it. Yes. The thing on the person is, you tell them that you had a a stroke, and they'll do it, even if they have to repeat three or four times. You write it down. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. and generally speaking, people don't mind doing that. Right. I repeat things over and over and over. Uh, as, as, as a good example, I was on the phone with Kim Comcast, uh, working out some problems, and she's helping me, and I, I, I did what I'm told to do. I said, I, I have strokes, so I need to repeat things. And she was so good about saying, sure, I'm, I have all the time to work for um, so at this time, my wife's extremely stressed out, uh, we're tr trying to get Social Security, trying to make sure our medical is going to be covered for by us and we don't lose our house. There's a lot of difficult things at that time. Um, these videos were, were, made, uh, were, were made January 26th, so as, 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 as I meant to mention. Um, but also 
during this really stressed time, we, we always pay, we were paying the tithe. What I, was, what I was paying before this all happened, we're keeping the amount the same. So we're doing that, we're taking a risk, but we're gonna, we know God is there for us, we're going to go with this. Okay. Tell um, me what each of these things are. Four. What is that? It's a house. Okay. A comb, mm -hmm. a toothbrush, mm -hmm. an octopus, a bench, a volcano, a, a patch, a Kind of animal, right? Yes, I. Tell me something about that animal. Well, he works. He, he looks in a in a little pond mm -hmm. where he chops down the trees to build his his homes in the pond. Mm -hmm. Patch patch. He builds a dam. Yes. What's the first letter? B. Badger, a pet. No, not a badger. B. A B. A B. B E A. B E A. B E A. Yep. A B. Beaver. Got it. That was it. You got a it. stethoscope. Wow, very nice. A unicorn. Mm -hmm. a, a simple word that I couldn't remember. You know, beaver or something like that, I couldn't remember the name. And I'm looking right at it. But a stethoscope I still have. I don't understand why. It's not some big word, I guess. Um, at, at this point, um, God was providing was, was, was providing for. My, my family was sending us money when, when, when they could. Um, we had um, unpeopled church, unpeopled people, unpeople, unknown people in our church that are giving money to Beth, and she's sliding it to us, and not, not telling us what they were, but people were helping us. It was, it was so powerful that people were doing the amount of time we had this summer, we didn't have a lot of time, so we had to drive, we had to go to uh, my speech therapist's office, so people were watching our kids for free. It was, it was, it was, it was amazing. Um, I want to little bit, talk a little bit about my perspective on things, how much certain things don't feel like they used to feel. Um, I have a room downstairs full of collectibles. And they're really, they're really cool. And I was going to hold them for my life. But now, they don't feel what they feel before. It's, it's hard to describe how they don't feel anymore. I'll, I'll share them with, I'll give them to my nephew or my son. Or someone who really, really liked that kind of thing. Um, I also wanted to help people that are dying, you know, just go out and help people that are dying. And they, they sent me up a message or a, a meeting with um, Ed Moulton, um, who's dying. I, I'm not sure, I don't know what he's dying of. I, I don't care. But I meet with him every Wednesday, and we talk about sports and the Red Sox. He loves the Red Sox, so I'll talk to him about it. And I'll bring, I'll bring my cards <coughs> over, and it's so much fun to share it with him. Um, it really makes me feel so full, like what I'm doing with him. It's, it's such a time between me in the, the office, in the, the cubicle, and me here helping a man, making a living man feel, feel good for the day, because he's, he's dying. Mm. Um, let's look at number